Hello everybody! Over the next couple of months I will be doing a series where we will be solving different CPF challenges over on the tryhackme.com website. My name is Avokari and today we are going to crack the hash. So what actually is a hashing function? Uh, a hashing function is a one-way function which converts an input, this could be for instance a password, into a hash value which can then be stored in a database so that you don't have to store your passwords in plain text. Since it is a one-way function, it is practically infeasible to invert it, meaning we cannot just get our plain text from the hash by inverting the function. So what we need to do instead is something called brute force attacks. For hash functions, we can use different tools. Some of them are just online tools like website. In our case, we're gonna be using CrackStation. And we're also gonna be using a command line tool, hashcat, combined with hash ID to find out what actually is the hashing function which is being used. So without further ado, let's now jump straight into the first exercise. So level one, can you complete the level one tasks by cracking the hashes? Okay, sounds pretty simple. Uh, let's start off and try crack station. We can uh, end up to 20 non-salted hashes. This will, this will be important for the second level. And we're just gonna copy out our hashes which are given by the try hacking side we paste all of them into CrackStation and then we're gonna see what the outputs will be. After solving the capture, we can now start to crack our hashes. As you can see here, four out of the five hashes are presented by us by CrackStation. So what CrackStation does, it has some pretty massive pre-computed lookup table of um, cracked hashes and it just looks do we have this hash value inside of our table if so yeah what is the type and what is also the result of it so in our case the solution for the first one would be easy let's copy that paste it in here and submit it perfect my answer was correct second one password one two three also a pretty simple one third one let me in another common use type of password and eternity 22 for the last one. But then we can see for the fourth one, it says the type is unknown. So we have an unrecognized hash format. So in order to now find out what the hashing function used here is, we're gonna use our tool which I mentioned earlier, hash ID. We need a parameter dash m in order to get the method which we then can use in hashcat and then as a string we just supply it with our hashing function. There's one thing to pay attention to here we have several dollar signs which we all need to escape in order for it to be interpreted as part of the string. So finally let's now hit enter and hash id will analyze the hash and will give us multiple choices for our hashing function, and in our case, it will be blowfish with the hashcat mode 3200. So now that we know our hashcat mode, we can go and crack this hash. So we use hashcat dash m again for the mode, in this case 3200. Then let's quickly copy our string, which we used here. Perfect. And finally, we also need to supply a word list. And in this case, I'm gonna use rock you stored in opt rockyou.txt. So this will take some time. Uh, you can see you can check the status and finally after a few seconds it will say session hashcat status is cracked. This was our hash target and right here we can see our hash and our plain text behind it. So boe or whatever is our plain text. So now let's submit this as well as the flag for the last part of level one. Perfect. So we now solved level one. So now on towards the second and the a little bit harder part of this video. In level two, we now increase our difficulty. All of the answers will be again in this rockyou.txt password list, which we already have downloaded and stored in opt. And we might need to start using hashcat here. We already needed it for the first one, but right now we should be required to use hashcat and no online tools. 
but we get again gonna try out our hashes first in the online tool because we know the first two should be pretty simple to be done online they don't require any salt so let's just try them out again frag hash perfect so the first one is a SHA-256 and the second one will be NTLM so once again just copy out our results and add them to the answers first one and the second one also in here and we already solved half of our solutions good for the next two you can now see we have a hash and also a salt so in this case once we have a really hard salt a salt and the other time we have try hack me so what we now need to do once again is find out what the hash behind it is what the function that was used in order to create this hash is so again we're gonna go on to hash id type m and as a string our text and once again don't forget to escape the dollar signs in order for it to work good and in this case again we have sha 512 and this time around we also have our salt so this one if we would plug that into crack station we would not get a result the hash cap mode for this one is 1800 so we can now go over and start cracking it again i'm gonna copy it so i put it in my clipboard we're gonna start up hash cat with the mode 1800 with our hash and again we're gonna provide the same op.rockview.txt word list start it up this again takes a little bit of time but also not too much on my computer it depends where you run it I, in my case i'm running it on my gpu so it's a lot faster than just the cpu alone and again the same thing we have cracked it and we get our password which is in this case walker 99 copy this add it in as our solution for the second to last one and then for the last one we need to do just the same i'm not gonna let this run right here i'm just gonna show you how it is done because this one takes actually a long time to go through so once again we're gonna go hash id tag m on that one let me just submit that forgot to do this and now we have a salt as well so we can see here for instance sha1 is a possibility so now let's look at the different possibilities we have for hashcat and right here we have mode 100 as you can see sha1 does not require a salt but sha1 on the mode 110 has a password uh, pass and then a salt separated by a double up so this is what we're going to use now we're going to go hashcat with our mode 110 then we're gonna paste in our hash separate that try hack me i think was the salt yeah there we go and we also after that again up rocku.txt so i'm not gonna let this run because this takes a long time to solve but i did it earlier on in preparing for this video and so i'm just gonna copy out the solution from back then so like i think after an hour or so this was finished for me and it again provided me the same as above with our hash and then double dot and our solution in this case it's a string of numbers congratulations you have just completed the room so this was just a short introduction into hash functions the room was pretty simple showed you different types of methods which you can use in order to create a hash and also how to crack him in different ways using online tools or hashcat which will be used a lot more on this channel later on. So thank you very much for watching. 
please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.